Hey guys, Nurse Blake, Nurse Blake here, and welcome to SimpleNursing.com. So before we start today's video, please remember to access your free quiz and preview our new study guides not on YouTube. Click the link right up here anytime during this video. All right, let's begin. There are certain special features that can really trick out the pacemaker. Remember that show, Pimp My Ride? Well, welcome to Pimp My Pacemaker. So demand only kicks in when the heart rate drops. So it's only used on demand, most commonly used for symptomatic bradycardia. And then we have fixed rate. These guys fire at a fixed rate constantly, like 70 beats per minute. And the most fancy ultra upgraded version, the ICD, implanted cardioverter defibrillator that can deliver an electric shock. So let's talk about pacemakers after they've been surgically implanted. Here are the top six most tested things for the NCLEX and even your nursing tests. So we're gonna use the three eyes. So the first eye, immobilize the arm. There is a huge risk of electrodisplacement, and this is huge for the NCLEX. You always wanna make sure you reposition the patient slowly and carefully. Never raise the arm above the head for about two weeks, and don't lift any heavy objects after surgery. So the second eye, infection. We want to make sure we monitor infections. The normal signs of infection are like a red, warm, and inflamed incision site, but also no bathtubs, creams, or powders initially. All of this can irritate the new pacemaker. And the last eye is for immediate post-op. We want to make sure we inspect the heart rate and teach the patient to inspect their heart rate every day. So now let's talk about patient education and long-term maintenance. Yes, it's okay to swim with a pacemaker and okay to drive after two weeks to allow healing. Just don't try to swim and drive at the same time because that can lead to pretty bad outcomes. Teach the patient to keep that ID card on them at all times and this is a huge for the NCLEX. And also teach them to report any signs of shortness of breath dizziness, light fatigue, passing out. This is a sign that the pacemaker is messing up. They need to report this to their doctor immediately. It could end in death if the pacemaker fails. Now what to avoid? Avoid the two C's and the four M's. C for contact sports and constrictive clothing like grandpa's skinny jeans, and also the four M's. M for magnets, since they can actually send patients into a different mode which can be very deadly. So big NCLEX tips are to stay away from the four M's, MRI, microwaves, metal detectors, and MP3 earphones and stereos. And now for another Blake take, a critical thinking question that loves to show up on the NCLEX. Can pacemaker patients use TENS, transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation? So what do you think, yes or no? No, they cannot. The pacemaker will fail. Remember that because it may show up on the NCLEX. Thanks for watching. For our full video and new quiz bank, click up right here to access your free trial. And please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Last but not least, a big thanks to our team of experts for helping us make these great videos. See you guys next time.